In this YouTube video, I'm gonna walk you through exactly how you can increase the amount of views that you're getting on your YouTube videos. Make sure you stick around for the end of the episode because I'm gonna be revealing to you guys the number one mistake that new YouTubers make that actually prevents them from growing. Just like you're probably experiencing right now, nine months ago when I would upload a YouTube video, nobody would watch it. I would upload it, I'd go to bed, I'd be like, holy shit, you know, this could be the thing, I'm gonna move to Hollywood, this, that, the other, and I'd wake up and it had like three views. Well, that might be a little bit of an exaggeration. I'd get like a hundred views, but still, Still, I wasn't satisfied with that and I wanted to know so bad what I was doing wrong and what I needed to do to increase my views. So let me share with you exactly what I did. By far the most important thing that you could do to start to increase the amount of views that you're getting on your content is to niche down your content. I made the huge mistake in the beginning and so many YouTubers do of uploading so many different pieces of content and so many different niches. You need to focus on one and it's gotta be one where you think you could provide an enormous amount of value. I don't care if it's incredibly saturated or anything like that, as long as you think you have a unique selling point and you can provide a lot of value there, trust me, you can break into it. It doesn't matter how saturated it is. But seriously, be honest with yourself when you're thinking about this. If you cannot provide a lot of value in this space, you should probably think of another niche to go into. And before I dive into the next tip, I need you guys to smash that subscribe button because I'm the CEO of helping you guys grow on YouTube and grow on TikTok and I don't want you to ever miss another video. In fact, I quit my job working for Gary Vee just so I could help people grow on TikTok and now I'm expanding into YouTube and I think that I am going to make a huge impact in this space. Also, also, I respond to every single comment that I get on my YouTube videos within the first 24 hours, so please make sure you leave a comment if you have any questions about anything. And just so you guys know, you can have more than one niche on YouTube, but I would strongly recommend that you keep it to two at most and make sure that they're both very similar. For example, I upload TikTok content and YouTube content. They're both very similar. It's basically the same audience that wants to see those two things, but if you were doing like real estate content and then content about like dogs, it's probably not gonna work. You should just pick one or the other. So if you're gonna post about real estate, just post about that. If you're gonna post about cars, just post about that. And of course, as you gain more subscribers, you get more views, you will be able to dive into different things and things of that nature. But in the beginning, you wanna make sure that you're consistently uploading about the same content so you can start to develop that audience, really cultivate it, and that's how you start to increase the amount of views that you get. Because your subscribers are gonna become used to what you're actually putting out, they're gonna to start to watch more, and then YouTube is gonna to start to suggest your content in search, in suggested, and in browse features based on whatever your audience looks like. More or less, what they're gonna do is find people that look like that and then show your content to them, as long as you're getting a good amount of average view duration, but we'll talk about that in a little bit. Nevertheless, they need a consistent pool of audience that is consistently watching your videos, and then they're gonna find more people like that and push your content out to them. The next important thing, this is incredibly important. As you guys could see, I do it in my own content. You need to be answering every single comment. The reason being, first, it's gonna increase the amount of engagement that you get on your posts. Secondly, it's going to really allow you to cultivate a relationship with your audience. And if you respond to somebody's comment, trust me, they're gonna watch your video the next time that they see it pop up on browse features or on suggested. So this is just a great way for you to stay top of mind with your consumer. This is so important. You guys should be doing this until you just can't do it anymore. Personally, I used to do this for three to four hours every single day, every single day, three or four hours every night. After I got done working for Gary Vee, I would stay up all night either recording videos or responding to all the comments from my old videos. And this was fundamental in me growing an audience that really loved the content I put out. All that being said though, if you really want YouTube to blow up for you, you need to get the algorithm to love you and you're gonna have to master these three things. And trust me, you want the algorithm to love you because that's gonna mean your videos are gonna be put on suggested and on browse features and they're gonna be surfaced to so many people. And if you have an audience that you wanna serve, this is the best way to do it. So that being said, you're gonna have to focus on three things. First, the click through rate. Second, your average view duration. And then third, the topic of your videos and how much engagement they get. Another thing that really impacts this is how often you're uploading to YouTube. I strongly suggest you should be uploading at least once a week. I would try for multiple times a week for two reasons. First, it's gonna be feeding your consumer more content. You're gonna be providing them more value. Secondly, it's gonna make you way better at getting in front of a camera, being able to change your tone, being able to edit certain things. And honestly, it just really helps in the beginning if you create as much content as possible. So again, you could really feed that audience and really get a stronghold and basically have them looking forward to when you're dropping your next video. Especially in the beginning, I strongly suggest you upload two to four times every single week. And again, once you start to establish with the YouTube algorithm that you're posting in one specific niche, they're gonna find that audience and they're gonna start to push your content out there and it's gonna make it way easier for you to start to rank and search, which is really gonna help you out because you know thousands, tens of thousands, even hundreds of thousands of people for some searches gonna be searching for that every single day and then they're gonna find your video and that's gonna establish you as an expert in whatever field that is. For example, I'll give you guys a prediction. I basically own all of the search results right now for TikTok related stuff. For YouTube, I don't have any of it. I suspect that 
that over the next six months, I'm gonna be able to take over the YouTube search results because I'm gonna be putting out the most up-to-date content and engaging with my audience the most and getting the highest average view duration and click-through rate on my posts. But don't be mistaken, that's not me being cocky, that's just me being very confident in the fact that I'm gonna provide you guys more value when it comes to increasing your YouTube views, increasing your subscribers, and really smashing it on YouTube, and that is my pack to you guys. When it comes to looking at your video analytics in order to increase your views, I need you guys to focus on two stats. First, the amount of end screen views that you're getting, and then secondly, the amount of subscribers that you're gaining. This is gonna give you two things. First, the amount of end screens, it's any real value for how many people are actually watching all the way through, and then the amount of subscribers that you're getting per video, you're gonna wanna make content very similar, or the next step in the progression of whatever video you have that is getting you the most subscribers. The reason being, you already know what those people are interested in, why they subscribed, you'll be able to notice that because of the video that they watch, and then you'll be able to tell pretty easily what they're gonna wanna see next or what complimentary video they wanna see. And remember, your success on YouTube is 100% dependent on you having a catalog of content that people are gonna watch that brings them value, so that should be your main focus. Think about it. Even David Dobrik makes very funny content. You watch his content video after video after video after video. You need yours to be set up the same way, whether it's information content, comedy content, or anything like that. Because trust me, the ultimate measure of whether or not somebody's actually getting value from your content is whether or not they're binge watching it and YouTube is able to predict what they need to see next. And this brings me to my next point, which is the number one mistake that YouTubers make when they first get started. I said it earlier in the video, but whenever you make new content, it's gotta be as close to as possible what you think the viewer would wanna see. Now, let me give you an example of this because I, in the beginning, started uploading about TikTok content. It was incredibly successful. What was really successful was content around the TikTok algorithm, how to increase your views and how to increase your followers. So whenever I make a video that doesn't effectively do those three things, it gets way less views. The reason being, it's not really what my audience wants to see. Yes, the posts are still about TikTok or they're still about YouTube or something like that, but it's not that close to the videos that really took off and that's why they see a decrease in views. I want you guys to keep this in mind because just because you're posting about real estate doesn't mean that you can post anything about real estate. There's gonna be a sub niche within just real estate that's actually gonna take off and you're gonna wanna try to make content as closely as possible to whatever that sub niche is. Another example for you guys is my top performing video is going from zero to 10K followers on TikTok in just seven days. So that video really works. If I upload a video about how to go from zero to 100K in seven days, it's not gonna work because I'm just not talking to the same audience. But if I made a video about how to make money on TikTok with less than 10,000 followers, I bet it would get a lot of views because again, it's what that audience wants to see. You guys need to be looking at these subtle differences when you're coming up with new titles, new thumbnails, and new video ideas. And trust me, you don't wanna lose any momentum that you build on YouTube because it's so hard to get it. The second that you start to have momentum, you wanna make sure that you're making the right decision when it comes to making new content that's gonna be complimentary or the next phase in the progression of what somebody that's in your audience wants to see. And another tip that so many YouTubers just tend to neglect is you really need to be providing your audience with value. That means the right information, the right education. If you're making vlog content, it's gotta be interesting. If you're making funny content or comedy content, it's gotta actually be funny. Way too many people will upload something, it doesn't get the support that they want, and then they're like, oh, the audience is wrong. Guys, trust me, the audience is never wrong. All that's saying is not that you suck, just that your piece of content sucked and that it could get better. And that's how you're gonna get better over and over and over again by actually looking at the analytics, increasing your views every single time, increasing that click-through rate, increasing that average view duration, and striving to provide your audience with more value, which again, answering comments and looking at what videos will work will allow you to do this. And over time, you're gonna get better and better, have that catalog of content. People are gonna binge watch your stuff and boom, you're gonna take off on YouTube. And my last two tips when it comes to increasing your views on YouTube are gonna be two things. First, try to rank for things that are gonna rank in search, because again, people search for those things all day, 24 seven. It's gonna allow you to get way more views than you could have ever imagined and allow you to establish yourself as an authority in a niche. And then secondly, you need to be promoting the out of your YouTube content on Instagram, TikTok, every other platform that you can use. In the beginning, you need to try to get as many views as humanly possible. This means promoting the Instagram, going live on TikTok, promoting to an email list, anything that you could possibly do to get the news out that you just released a new YouTube video to somebody that's gonna be interested in that subject. And as far as ranking videos on search goes, I'm sure you guys wanna know SEO tactics for that now, but I'm gonna be saving that for another video that's gonna be coming out soon. So make sure you guys smash that subscribe button, check out these other videos about YouTube. And if you guys want a personalized plan and a 30 minute call for me for how you get started on YouTube or how to increase your views and subscribers. Get my ideas for what I would do if I ran your channel. Go to the link in my description. I'm linking out to how you could get started with that.